Hello, everyone, and we welcome you to this edition of News You Can Use. I'm your host, Thera Martin Milling, and glad to be with you once again. So thank you for checking us out. On our program tonight, in the first segment, we're going to talk about a citywide revival. That's right. It's coming back to Philadelphia once again, a citywide revival, and it is sponsored by the Pastors and Ministers Conference of Philadelphia and Vicinity. So in our first segment, we'll shine the spotlight on the man who's in charge of putting that all together. And then a little later on, when we turn the page on the program, we're going to talk about health choices. And we have a young man here from Better Health Network who will talk about that. So stay with us. We'll be back with the beginning of our show in just a moment. We are now getting this program going like we want as we talk about a citywide revival in church. That's right, folks, in church. In fact, at Sharon Baptist Church. To tell us all about it, we have the chairman of the occasion, Reverend Dr. Myron Barnes is here, pastor of Bethany uh, Baptist Church in Southwest Philly. That's correct. All right. Your exact location for your church, Pastor? 58 from Warrington Avenue. Okay. All right. Well, we, we're so glad that you're here. Thank we appreciate you. you for coming, sir to talk about this citywide revival. Thank you, delighted to be here. Yeah. So um, this is the Pastors and Ministers Conference of Philadelphia, Philadelphia and Vicinity. And you all do this conference, I mean the revival every year. Yes, mm -hmm. yes we do it every year, but this year is going to be unique in that this is the first year that we're going to be hosted at the Sharon Baptist Church. This is the first year that we have our music director, Mrs. Sheila Booker, who's putting together an ecumenical choir of all denominations. Mm -hmm. And this is my first year chairing this event. Mm -hmm. So we hope that it's gonna be special and going to really bring some energy and strength and enthusiasm, which we need in our city. Now, because I am a Christian woman yes. of the Baptist faith, I understand revivals, and I've been to countless revivals over the years. Could probably use about 100,000 more. <laughs> but um, for people who may have never been to a Christian revival, give a brief description of what they can expect. I mean, it, it's, I know what it is, but I don't want to put words in your mouth, okay. so give a little description. I think that they can expect a powerful uh, worship experience. I think it'll be much to get an escape from some of the worldly ills and frustrations and problems that impact us on a daily, uh, on a, in our daily lives. I think it'll be an opportunity to hear some of our most dynamic uh, leaders that we have in our city and in vicinity. Um, for example, we have uh, pastors preaching at our noonday services. Yeah, those are the living legends, The living right? legends, I love yes, it. I love yes. It. And what makes them living legends is that combined they have over 200 years of pastoral experience mm -hmm. right here in our mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. So they've been here uh, in the trenches during the civil rights movement, uh, during uh, the economic uh, upheavals and decline. Uh, we've seen, for example, um, buildings and industries and oh, schools uh, closing in our area, yes. but these individuals have been yes. right here. Stood through the test of time. That's correct. Yes. That's correct. Um, now, I don't have the flyer in front sure. of me, but mm -hmm. and I know whatever names I don't come up with, you're going sure. to, but I know that Reverend Dr. Albert F. Campbell, uh, Pastor Emeritus of Mount Carmel Baptist Church, is going to be one of the noonday preachers yes, as a living is. legend. Yes. Reverend Dr. Uh, James S. Allen of Vine Memorial Vine Baptist Memorial Church Baptist Baptist will be Church. a noonday preacher as a living legend. Yes. Um, Reverend Dr. Guy Campbell of the Evergreen Baptist Church of Palmyra, New Jersey, mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. also be one of our noonday uh, preachers. Yes. And the Reverend Dr. James Hall, the pastor of the Triumph Baptist yes. Church, yes. will be a noonday preacher. Mm -hmm. And then the Reverend Dr. William J. Shaw, 
the pastor of the White mm -hmm. Rock Baptist Church. And the former president, former president of the National Baptist Convention. Former president of the National Baptist Convention. He's pastored White Rock for nearly mm. six decades mm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, he's distinguished himself as a local, state, national, yes. and international leader. Yes. All of these uh, men that we have mentioned, not only have they uh, made a positive uh, impact in the community in which they serve, but all of them have distinguished themselves on national and international level. Uh, Dr. Albert Campbell, for example, served as a board member of the Foreign Missions Board for a number of years, which uh, reaches out to help um, countries in Africa and in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has done a great work as a board member of the Foreign Missions Board. Dr. Guy Campbell, uh, Palmyra, New Jersey has served and it currently serves as president of the New Jersey State Convention. Uh, Dr. James S. Allen has served on the Human Rights Commission here in our yes, city. Yes, I remember that, yeah. Uh, Dr. James Hall has served as a president of the Pennsylvania Baptist mm -hmm. State mm -hmm. Convention. Yep. Yep. And so all of these oh, men, uh, oh, they have uh, they're just living legacies. Yeah. yeah. Legends. Now, before we talk about the revivalist, and I do want to save some yes. time to talk about him a little bit, because yes. we want our viewers to come out and enjoy these yes. re citywide revival services every night, um, starting October the 27th through October the 31st, yes. each night at Sharon Baptist Church yes. on Conchahawken Avenue, yes. right off City Avenue. That's right. Um, and, and revival starts at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Every night. That's but right. But there's a noonday service every day during the revival, too, yes. October 27th through the 31st. And I love that you all are doing that yes. because maybe for some of our elderly people That's or even right. folks who are younger who don't see well. I don't see that right. well after dark rest. Mm -hmm. Um, but they can go to the 12 noon service oh, yes. if they can't make it yes. to the evening service. Yes. Yeah. But we believe if you show up for the 12 noon you service, come back. you'll you want to come, come back. back. You yes. will definitely yes. want to come okay. back. Okay. Because during our evening service, we're having expositors, and these are some dynamic young leaders in our community. And among them, we will have uh, Dr. Alan Waller, who uh, is Pastor Enon mm -hmm. yes, Tabernacle yes. Baptist Church, uh, Reverend Dr. Um, J. Lewis Felton, who Mount pastors Airy. Mount Airy mm -hmm. Church of God in Christ, mm -hmm. uh, Reverend Dr. Millicent Hunter, yes. who uh, pastors the Baptist Worship mm -hmm. Center, will be one of those speakers. Reverend Dr. Terrence Griffin, who's been on your show, right. president of Black Clergy and pastor of the First African Baptist Church, will be one of our expositors mm -hmm. and also our host pastor in the person of Bishop Keith W. Reed mm -hmm. will be an expositor as well. And each evening, these individuals will be preaching on our theme, and that's reclaiming our strength, uh, pursuing a path to spiritual renewal because we believe that Satan is busy mm. and all of the problems that we as a people in particular are having in our own community and nationwide, these are ills that will be uh, spoken to through the word of God. Yeah. And so we very much need a revival. It seems as though our school system is under attack and in an upheaval and it needs help. It seems as though uh, young black men and young black women uh, are just struggling just to make it from day to day yes. on the streets of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And so, so we need a revival. The church hmm. needs to be hmm. revived so we can reach out and speak to the social injustices in our own communities. Yes. And so uh, we're excited about these expositors. Um, they have distinguished themselves in mm. so many mm -hmm. areas. Uh, Dr. Millicent Hunter, right. for example, on on is fire. on fire for the Lord, and she's also a pro adjunct professor at the United Theological Seminary in Dayton, Ohio, so mm -hmm. she's in quite demand. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Alan Waller is a prolific speaker. He's a uh, community activist, mm -hmm. 
He's a recording artist. He's an author. You know, need I say more? Uh, Dr. Terrence Griffin leads our black clergy, and he's also a member of the Foreign Missions Board of the National Baptist Convention, and he's doing outstanding work. Dr. J. Lewis Felton, our Bishop. brother uh, bishop from yeah. the Church of God in Christ, Mount Airy Church of God in Christ, and it is important for us to have him because we want to reach beyond denominational lines. We want to reach beyond gender barriers. We want to reach out to the community. Yes. And then Bishop Keith Reed, uh, our people need to come and see mm. the great ministry that he uh, oversees and has put together in West Philadelphia. Quite a visionary, uh, it, quite a visionary. Quite a visionary. Look, let's talk about the revivalists before we now, run out of time. The revivalists mm. in the person of Reverend Greg L. Oliver. He is the pastor of the True Vine Baptist Church of Monroe, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. He is a young man who's on fire for the Lord. We talked about having our living legends, but to have Reverend Oliver come to preach each evening for us, he is a young man mm -hmm. who is young enough to reach the youth and young people of our city, but he's also seasoned enough and has the wisdom to pull together other members of our community. So we think it's gonna be a great balance uh, with our legends, with our expositors, and with our evangelists. And then uh, we will also be graced each evening with tre tremendous worship and singing. Mm. Um, we have a citywide revival choir. Mm. It's an ecumenical choir. It's a choir that's made up of mm -hmm. all denominations, mm -hmm. and Mrs. Sheila D. Booker is going to she be. She's gonna throw her thing she's down. She's gonna throw it down. <laughs> she's gonna throw it down. Good, good. She's gonna be leading us. We're gonna be doing all types of church music, rich church music, mm -hmm. from gospel to anthems to spirituals. There's going to be something for everybody. Mm -hmm. And so we are just excited to get mm -hmm. the word out. Okay, well, we're looking forward to it. And we just want to remind our viewing audience over and over again to mark your calendars now, October the 27th through October the 31st for the Citywide Revival. It is being hosted by the Pastors and Ministers Conference of Philadelphia and Vicinity. They do this every year. We happen to believe that this year is going to be bigger than ever at Sharon Baptist Church on 3901 Conshohocken Avenue. And uh, revival starts at 7 p.m. nightly. Um, from October the 27th to the 31st, but don't forget, there's a 12 noon service every That's day. Correct. On those same dates with some dynamic living legends, he already went through the names, uh, that you can enjoy that uh, noontime activity as well. So, Pastor, I thank you for coming, and we appreciate you, and we're looking forward to all the good news that's going to come out, and the good works and God's word out of the revival. Thank you so thank much for you. having thank us. Thank you thank very, you. very much. All right, we're going to keep it moving as we go forward with this edition of News You Can Use. And in our next segment, we're going to talk with a young man who had a vision. He had a vision to start a very special company. It's called Better Help Network. And he's going to tell his story in a moment. Stay with us. I'm Steve Graham, reporting for LTV News. I'm Corey Meredith. I'm reporter Madison Elliott. Hello, I'm Brendan Rigney here. And welcome to LTV News. Let's step back and take a look at the world. I'm here to tell you what the buzz in Philadelphia. Let's check it out. It's an eclectic mix. I don't think that this tax is the way to do it. They actually have a little celebration going on. and I think it's a step in the right direction. I'm sitting down with my friend and fellow colleague for LaSalle TV, Jacob Smolinski. Oh, we've got Miss Pinup. We've got Mr. Classy Designer. <laughs> Polarizing news reporter and political commentator Chris Matthews. September 28th was a most auspicious day for the 52nd annual Puerto Rican Day Parade. Finagling his way back into her life is Brendan Rigney, LTV charmer. Alongside of me, SGA president and dear friend, Muffy Torres. Groovy. Now let's talk fashion. Reporter Steve Graham had the opportunity to cover the event. The talent is evidently here. It's big plans. So, I don't know. Some really great things going on. Are you tired of your boring life? 
nothing exciting going on anymore. Sick of only doing what you have to do. Tired of the mundane routine. Well, hold up. We have the cure for you. That's right. The South TV. With sports, news, game shows, and more, you'll be sure to find exactly what you've been needing. LaSalle TV, you know you watch. Hello everyone, we're back as we continue with our program, News You Can Use. I'm your host, Thera martin Milley, And right now I want to introduce to everyone a gentleman who just had an awesome vision and he spoke it into reality, the Better Health Network. His name is Jermaine Grumall. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. President, CEO, and founder of Better Health Network, right? Yes. I got it right? Yes. Okay. So um, tell us about this Better Health Network and how, how you... Uh, envisioned it and, and how it's unrolling and unfolding. Sure. Well, our vision was around really the need to help support people in underserved communities and help them better be able to navigate the system. And basically what we wanted to do was have a company that was able to provide one-stop shop service for individuals working through faith and community-based organizations to support their existing infrastructure and ex existing community relationships. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been in existence now? About four years. About four years. And um, so you're getting out into the community. The word is getting out. You all are obviously doing a good job of getting the word out to let people know you exist to have you come in to welcome you into different community groups and organizations or, or churches to do your presentation and to talk to people about their health care choices? Sure, sure. And really what was the genesis of Better Health Network was around the Affordable Care Act as well as just where the direction that health care was moving in. And uh, effectively the Affordable Care Act does two very important things. It moves us towards universal access for insurance as well as it fundamentally changes the way that we as a country pay for health care and access it. And what we knew was that you were going to really have a platform where there was not a clear model around how health care should be delivered or paid for, particularly in underserved communities. And our thought was that we want to make sure that the voice of these underserved underserved community and their representatives through the faith and community based organizations have a chance to have a chance to support the needs of their constituents. Okay, this is terminology open enrollment and it's coming up. It's getting ready to start soon and people sure. are gearing up. Your organization is gearing up. What does open enrollment mean exactly in the world of health insurance? Sure. So um, good question. And it relates back to my first point around the move towards universal, uh, universal access for insurance. Mm -hmm. yes. um, you have two parts to it. First, you have open enrollment for Medicare, which is uh, talking about insurance for predominantly our senior population. Senior citizens. Yes. Okay. So between October 15th mm -hmm. and December 7th is an open enrollment period where the senior can change to plans that better meet that senior's need. Okay, so if I have, let's say I'm a senior citizen and I have health plan A right now, but um, maybe I'll sit with someone like you from Better Health Network and you'll go through several different plans and say, after we read all of the research and looked at all of the things that the various companies offer Ms. Milling, this one is the best one for you. Is that kind of like what you all do? 
I, I wouldn't say we're necessarily making the choice for the consumer. Right. Okay. We want to make it easier. There are some very attractive new options that are going to be available for seniors. There are some new benefits through the Affordable Care Act that are going to be available to individuals. We want to make sure that information is out. So our goal or our role is not to say, hey, this is what you should do, right. as much as just help to make sure that there are that you know what your options are, one, and then two, we play a role in making sure that we're helping to move insurance plans and the things that are offered closer to what the community really needs. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. Okay, so now if people want to know more about Better Health Network, I know you have a website. We want you to put that out there. And then we want to talk about these town hall meetings that you all are sponsoring that, that are happening like now as people are watching the show sure. in the next few weeks. Sure. And, and we talked about one part of open enrollment, particularly for seniors. Mm -hmm. The other part is now through the Affordable Care Act and open enrollment for individuals who many who were previously uninsured. We know in the city of Philadelphia, approximately 99,000 individuals are uninsured without, uh, without an option. Before, there was an agreement between the Obama administration and the Corbett administration around Medicaid expansion. Last year, we had approximately 80,000 individuals who were previously uninsured who were able to access insurance right. through the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare, as yes. many people have come to call it. Mm -hmm. So what ha is happening now is that you have individuals who signed up last year that need to know about some of the changes and some of what their options are going to be for 2015. And then you have other individuals who were unfortunately not able to sign up last year who many don't know that they have new options available to them. Many of them are going to have a story, something like, I tried to sign up for that Obamacare last year, but, and then uh, mm -hmm. not a good result on the other side of the but. Mm -hmm. What's happening now is that we have to re-message to those individuals and let everyone know that if you are a U.S. citizen, in the state of Pennsylvania, you will have a health insurance option for 2015. And to your point, part of what we're doing are these town halls that are designed to help get the information to several key groups of individuals, including the uninsured, as I mentioned now, mm -hmm. individuals who signed up last year through the Obamacare marketplace, seniors to help them understand the changes, and then we're also targeting faith civic and other community leaders okay. around these events so that we can uh, help to uh, coordinate other outreach events that are ultimately going to make it easier for individuals to get educated right. and enroll. Right. Sounds really good and so very important. Um, I, I, my mom is a senior citizen. Don't get mad, mom. You're a senior citizen. I'm telling your business <laughs> on TV, she'll say later on. But, um, I, and I'm concerned because I want my mom to have the best of everything that she can get at this point in her life, sure. be that health care or other services. And um, she's been making, she's clear her head is fine, she can make her own decisions. But sometimes I do wonder, did she make the best choice for health care for herself? Sure. Yeah. Sure. And, and I can tell you from my experience last year, um, and I, I should add at these town halls, we're going to have a representative from President Obama's administration that is going to be there explaining the options. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You got to connect at the White House because you had a White House representative in town on Friday, October the 3rd, <laughs> I believe it was. And then you got another White House uh, representative coming in. Well, not a White you? House representative this time. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, but I uh, know we've been fortunate to um, build a relationship um, with the department that is doing a lot of the outreach. Okay. Um, but part of what we're looking to do, to your point about your mother, is we want to make it easier for people to be able to uh, pick insurance, whether it's a senior for yes. Medicare or whether it is an individual signing up for the Obamacare mm -hmm. options mm -hmm. and or Medicaid. We want to have a stamp of approval that says that, hey, this is a, an insurance, mm -hmm. uh, insur insurance option, uh, insurance plan that is working with the faith and community leaders within our uh, our underserved uh, communities. So now let's give these uh, locations and dates because sure. they'll give me the signal soon it's time to wrap it up. So let's give the dates when these town hall meetings are happening where it's free, folks are encouraged to Absolutely. come out from the community and get all this information about insurance. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So the first one is for North Philadelphia and it is Wednesday, October the 15th mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. 
The second one is for Southwest Philadelphia, and it is on Tuesday, October the 21st at 6.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. The next one is on October the 23rd, Thursday, October the 23rd for South Philadelphia. Then we have Tuesday, October the 28th at Mount Airy Church of God in Christ for Northwest Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have Thursday, October the 30th at Christian Stronghold Baptist Church for West Philadelphia. Billy Richardson, Reverend yes. Billy Richardson. Over uh, excellent there. partner, yeah. uh, excellent good, organization. Good, good, good. But we're excited. We have more information available for people at www.bhn philly.org again www.bhnphilly.org and i can be reached at 215-380-0559 yeah i know we're almost out of time but i just got to say um a uh, shout out to uh reverend um reverend from berean baptist church yes, uh reverend for uh, buck yeah. reverend buck don't get me, Reverend Buck, um, for having the vision to uh, work with your group and some others to start a health center yes. at 26 in Cambria in North Philly. So I hear other churches that are talking about, well, we might do a health center, we might do this, might do that, and you don't see things happen. Well, Reverend Buck over there, Berean, he spoke his stuff into existence, and it is happening, and it's top-line professional, and I'm very proud. And your group was involved with that, too. Yeah, yeah, yes, we're going to be working with Reverend Buck in that uh, community health center. I know there are other uh, faith organizations that have that same vision, mm -hmm. and we're very open to collaborating with them, right. too. Mm -hmm. Again, looking at how can we provide one-stop shop services that are able to help support the needs of the community and really leverage those faith in community-based organizations. Okay, I'd ask you to give us your website again one more time and a phone number if you can where people who don't have websites can call if they want more information about sure. Better Health Network. Sure, uh, again the website is www.bhnphilly.org and the phone number is 215-380-0559. And a thank young you. man, a young man with a vision, <laughs> and you're making it happen. Congratulations. Thank you. All I appreciate the best. it. And health care is so important. we got to understand that we got to yes. take care of our health. We thank you so much for being with us on this edition of News You Can Use, and we hope you'll keep your dial at Channel 56 at LaSalle TV, and check out Verizon 36 as well for this program and all the other great shows that we bring your way. Take care, everyone. Have a good day.